Hey guys, coming to you from my LVL framed house. Last week we did a video here talking about the benefits of closed cell foam and why we use close on this house. But on today's video, I wanna take you behind the scenes and show you a couple tips or tricks for using closed cell to the maximum. And also a couple of tips on how to get the best bang for your buck. So let's get going. We're gonna start here in the garage space. Now, as typical for a lot of houses that are two stories, they've got a bonus space above this garage. We've got a big workout room up there. And that's where you can really see the benefit of that closed cell phone. We've got two inches up there and you can see it sticks tenaciously to that Advantech deck and we've got upstairs the perfect application for closed cell phone. Two inches is all I need to meet code and my climate zone. That's basically R14 on there. If you're in a northern climate, you're gonna to wanna to add more insulation up there. You probably have an R21 necessary for a floor, but here we only need R14. That's a perfect use for closed cell foam. But now as we walk from the garage and up these steps into the house, a couple things you notice here. Number one, I've got these massive bats uh, sitting around. We have not installed these yet. Stay tuned for a future video on using rock wool bats for a flash and bat system where we've used closed cell foam in the walls and then we're gonna finish that off with some bats. Now Roxel's changed their name, that's why their, their old logo is on here. They're now called Rock Wool, not Roxel. The next thing you'll notice though is look here, I've got some drywall already hung in the garage. Why is that? We're not in that stage quite yet. And here you can see just a little bit of a, a, a teaser as to why. Look at that spray foam coming around the drywall right there. Let's walk into the house from these garage steps and I wanna show you the backside of this drywall. Okay, now when you get to the top of the stairs, look up and you'll notice that we're totally encapsulated. And where I am here, this is the door in this space between the house and the garage. And this is basically the thermal envelope to the house. This is also the air envelope to the house. Out here is garage, in here is heated and cooled house space. And now you can see why we put that drywall up. As we come around here, we're now in the kitchen space on the back side of the drywall, we sprayed that closed cell foam. As long as we have one inch of closed cell foam, we've got a total air barrier. So we could have just done one inch here. We chose to go two inches everywhere. And remember that outlet I showed you on the other side? Here's another outlet right here. These are probably some switches turning on some lights in the garage. Look at that, totally encapsulated with that closed cell foam. Why do we do that? What's the big benefit? We wanna make sure that our garages are totally encapsulated and sealed off from the rest of the house. Nothing good happens in the garage from an air quality standpoint. We've got fumes from your car, we've got maybe gas storage out there or paint storage. We don't want any of those fumes in the house. We've also not located any ducts or any HVAC out there. We wanna isolate 100% that garage air from the house air and that's a great way to do it. Now look up in the ceiling up here, you'll see something a little different. We've got that cool curved ceiling going on in the kitchen. Check out my Instagram feed to see some behind the scenes on this house. This is the hashtag LVL framed house. But as we get above that curved ceiling, you notice we've got a puffier insulation up there. That's open cell foam. So what we did was we actually did two types of spray foam on this house. Two inches of closed cell, pretty much everywhere, walls and roof. But then we came back in a, quite a few spaces and used open cell foam. And this is a great place to see why. Above the ceiling here, I've got an attic space and there's some attic decking for an attic above here, but I could not have, have gone in very easily with her traditional bat insulation in this space up there. But when I use the open cell, again, because that open cell is gonna stick, it's sticking to this closed cell, it's sticking to the framing, we've been able to get that full depth insulation we needed in there. So in the roof line and the band joist areas, we came in with seven inches of open cell foam on top of the two inches of closed cell foam. Now remember from the other video, closed cell foam's about 6.9, what's called R7 per inch. So two inches is gonna net us R14. And then on top of that, in those ceiling spaces, we ran seven inches plus or minus of open cell foam. Open cell foam is about 3.5 per inch of R value. So if you add those two together, we're just shy or right around R40 in total for our roof line and for our band joist areas. Let's go up and let me show you in one of the attic spaces. Okay, we've actually started installing a few areas already on that rock wool. These are not for insulation purposes, actually, actually for sound isolation. But if you come back here, we can start to see a couple of the attic spaces. 
take a peek into that attic above you here. Look at that, that's beautiful. Now you can see where we've got full depth insulation. We're almost 10 inches of insulation between the two of those, open and closed cell. And if you look to your left right here in this space, you'll see where we've got a little bit of missing insulation. That's because we've got attic back there. It's basically conditioned space on the other side. And that's how you can see how we've totally encapsulated those two by six rafters. So I've got several, you know, four inches, let's say, of foam on top of those rafters. Very, very well insulated attic space. Take a peek into this one too. You'll notice all the duct work now, all the HVAC, it's all within the thermal envelope of the house. Nothing is outside of the air conditioned space in this house. It's really a great way to go, guys. Thanks for joining me. Big thanks to our sponsors on this series of spray phone videos, Acela. Link to those guys in the description below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.